Hi there, I'm Gary from Longsons and I'm going to take you on a brief video tour of this uh, link detached period property we have available in the historic village of Castleacre in Norfolk. Okay, so it's a two bedroom property. Looking at the front of the property as I'm sure you've gathered. So uh, I'll just show you it's detached on one side and then it's link detached to this former chapel on the left there. So it's this spacious two bedroom property. And I'll just show you the property location. So we're on Bailey Gate in Castle Acre. So that's Bailey Gate heading out of the village and up at the top there you can actually see the Bailey Gates heading into Castle Acre village. So I'll just also show you there is rear vehicular access to the property so that's just down this driveway here so we'll, I'll just head down here and I'll just show you the uh, vehicular access right so we're a little bit further down that drive I'm just cutting bits out so you hopefully won't get too bored there's a uh, gated access there to the side that takes you into the rear garden of Melbourne house and if we continue down here okay so we're just a little further up now and then just head round here, there's parking just in here for two vehicles, go with the property and there's gated access there to the rear garden which I'll show you in a, in a little bit but I'll also just show you, uh, it's very convenient, um, there's a footpath here just to the rear of the property, head through here and we're straight into the grounds of Castle Acre Castle. So it's uh, perfect for walking. And there's, there's walks going off in all directions from here. Right, well let's go and have a look inside the property. Right, so we're back at the front of the property. Heading in through the front door into the entrance hall. So the property is ready for um, some updating throughout. So got stairs to the first floor, there's an understairs storage cupboard, and we've got wooden boards to the floor. So there's there's plenty of character in this property. We'll head on through now to the lounge, situated at the front. Got this lovely uh, feature fireplace with inset multi-fuel burning stove. There's three windows to the front. And again, underneath the rug we have wooden boards to the floor. And there's also a door there there's a chair in front of it at the moment but there's a door there takes you through to the dining room which is also accessible from the kitchen breakfast room which I'm about to show you so we're now heading into the kitchen stroke breakfast room Got enamel sink units mixer tap and drainer there's a Feature fireplace with inset multi fuel burning stoves, and there's two built in cupboards either side of the fireplace. And then just off of the kitchen breakfast room, we have dining room. So there's the door there, takes you through to the lounge. Tucked away in the corner, there is a 
feature fireplace there. Currently not in use, that is boarded out. The windows looking out to the rear garden. And then if we head on back through the kitchen stroke breakfast room, head into the rear lobby. So this is a useful, useful bit of space. There's an entrance door opening to the rear garden and window to the side. Yeah, potentially make a good utility room. There's also a door to the rear where we have cloakroom with WC and wash basin. And there's also the wall mounted oil fired central heating boiler. Okay, let's go and have a look upstairs. Right, so we're just coming up onto the first floor landing. Really good size landing window to the front and the landing continues on to the end there with doors off to the bathrooms a uh, bathroom and bedrooms so at the top of the stairs we have bedroom one do have to watch your head there's low low door heights as you often find in these um, character properties so if you're tall like me you might stack the duck as you're coming through so we've got window to the rear good size double bedroom and wooden boards to the floor and then just further down the landing we have Bedroom two, again, another good sized double bedroom. Feature fireplace with cast iron surround. Uh, that's also not in use. And window looking out to the rear garden. And wooden boards to the floor again. And back to the front of the property we have the bathroom so a really good sized bathroom it's a four piece bathroom suite in here we've got a space saver almost half size bath and then we have a shower cubicle WC and wash basin with wooden boards to the floor and window to the front. All right, let's go and have a look in the rear garden. Okay, so we're back in the rear lobby, heading out the entrance door, straight into the rear garden. So there's this area directly to the rear of the property, laid to shingle. And there's Calagas bottles, they're currently being used to provide uh, gas for the gas cooker in the kitchen. And this is enclosed seating area. There's path an area down the side here to the gate, providing access to the side that I showed you um, a little earlier. And there's also this flint built outhouse it's um i suppose you'd call it semi-detached so you can pretty much see there's a line about halfway down there and so one half belongs to the neighbor and the other comes with this property it's had a replacement roof recently um, the rest of it probably needs a bit of tidying up inside it's a very useful building 
And then as we head up these steps, we're into the rear of the garden. So a good sized garden, mainly laid to lawn. It opens out on the side here. An old flint wall to the perimeter. the cottage down the end there. As we head down to the rear of the garden we've got this carts, cart shed style building with corrugated roof. Gated access to the side here, but it's parking for two vehicles. There's currently a wooden garden shed as well, comes with the property. Just been serenaded by a bird as we tour. Okay, so that was the brief video tour of the two bedroom link detached period property full of character I'm sure you'll agree situated within the historic Norfolk village of Castle Acre. Thank you for watching.